So hello, and I am back. This is part two of lesson nine in unit two on web page design and development. And we are going to work through the activities in bubble six. There's several of them here and learn how to debug some problems. We're going to learn how to just do some things that are really important to know how to do with our images. And in case you haven't heard me say this before, when it says choose from the following activities, really you should do all of the activities. Now, sometimes it'll give you, for example, um, one of the activities might just be to play around and have some like freestyle time. You can spend as little or as long on that as you feel like you need to spend. But all of the debugging and all of the you know, skills lessons that are in these activities, they're quick, short and, short and sweet, but they're very important. So don't just choose one of them and say, okay, I've done, I choose one and I'm done. Work through each of them. If you uh, are watching this to get some help, feel free to skip to where you need to go. Otherwise, I'm going to work through all of these, and it's important that you do it, though, on your own code account. That's when you're going to actually learn it. All right, so image bug match. Let's see what this is. It's been a while since I looked at this one. Ah, all right. Match the buggy HTML code with the description of its bug. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So these are just different kinds of bugs. One, the source attribute is spelled incorrectly. So it's not spelled SRC. See if we can find one that does not have SRC. Oh, this one right here says SCR. That is a very common mistake. The SRC and alt attributes are switched. Well, I saw that right off the bat when I was looking for SRC. So this one says alt, and then they just kind of messed up here. Yeah, that's a, that one's messed up. The file extension .jpg is missing from the image address. So, when we are, oh, wait a minute. Attributes are switched. Okay. I might have gotten that one wrong. I might move that around. So the JPEG is mentioned is missing. Let's see here. This one has the source, the brown dog but it does not say JPEG in it anywhere. So the image address is not given as an SRC attribute. So the image address is not given. So this one does not have any kind of JPEG at all, which is part of the image um, address there where it's looking for it. So this one, oops. Let's see if this is it. There's like no source in there at all. Whereas this one, a cute little dog, is really should be the alt text and brown dog should be the source. I think that's what they meant there. This one doesn't have source at all. Alrighty. Then the last one, there's a space in the file name and you can see brown space dog is the way that one looks. So let's see if we got that one. That is the correct answer. Yay. So if you got it wrong, it should give you an option to redo it. Feel free to do that. And we're going to debug the missing image. Don't you hate it when you go to a website and the images won't load? Sometimes that's a problem with the person who developed the web page. They didn't do it something correctly. Sometimes it's a problem with 
our networks and stuff like that. Try reloading the page, it says, so we'll try that. Not very close to my router because I'm in a quiet spot in the house, so sometimes th things take a little while to load. Okay. Five years later, here we go. Someone has submitted a bug report on this web page. Can you fix the bug? Yes, there is definitely a bug here. I see some pink stuff going on. There's supposed to be an image of balloons, but no image. And you can see they put the code in there. Hmm. I see that the P tag looks correct and it's showing up. The image has the SRC balloons dot JPEG alt is colorful balloons. This is what we should see. By the way, this one's a little tricky. Oh, I just I just discovered I was looking here and the alt is blue, but I remember that this should be green like the SRC. And the reason it's blue is because it thinks that it's still part of this file name because that person did not put the quotation mark. So there that one was tricky. You notice as soon as I fixed it, not only did all the pink go away, but the ALT, the alternative text, is the same color as SRC. So these two attributes here are both green. So that's great. That's what we want to see. Green is good for those. All righty. I'm going to click finish. I will click it again because I did not click it up way that it wanted to be clicked. All right, debug the missing image too. So I see this one's going to be about Yosemite. I have always wanted to go to some of those locations out west like Yosemite. we go. There is an image of Half Dome. There is alt text, but no image. Okay. So it says Half Dome, Yosemite, giving us the alternative text, which is also another reason to have those alt text there. Not only is it for people that can't see well, if there's a problem with a website and it's not loading, alt text will help people know what it's supposed to be. Okay. Why is it not showing up? Oh, I see it. This is one of those things that I fixed many times. So I've, I, it just pops out. The more you debug, the more you see things like this quickly. Um, source is one of those attributes that is commonly spelled incorrectly. So if you look closely, source is spelled wrong here. Should be SRC, not SCR. 
There we go. I'm going to click finish. Just two little letters flip flopped can make things not work. And you can imagine somebody who's doing a huge web page that's putting in lots and lots of images, things like that can happen very easily. As you're creating a web page, it's very easy for that to happen. Come on. Sorry for the slow internet this evening. All right, we're gonna debug the missing image three again. A lot of this is about debugging, seeing things. Each one of these debugging uh, steps is teaching you something different that could very easily happen to you. And sometimes they're hard. Like that first one was seeing that lack of quotation marks was tricky. Um, the colors will help you give you some hints on the screen. Let's see, this time there's supposed to be a second Pikachu image right here. And there is some alternative text, but no image. So let's see, I see gameboy.jpg. And the first thing I want to do is look over here at my files. SRC is spelled correctly. They both have their ending quotation marks. But Game Boy has a capital B in it in the file name. And over here it does not. So I can change it either by renaming it here and clicking rename, or I can change it by typing it in there. Either way is fine. We're going to click finish. It popped up. We now have two pictures, including that old Game Boy from probably late 90s, early 2000s. Probably early 2000s. I don't know. You guys can look that up and tell me how old that Game Boy is. Mrs. Guthrie is very old, and I remember when Game Boy first came out when I was in middle school. It was only black and white screens. Be right back. Man, this thing is taking forever to load. Okay. Sorry about the slowness again. All right. Add alt to existing images. Add alternate attributes to describe existing images. So this will be quick. The most important thing is to describe what you're seeing as if you were not able to see it. Like, how would you want it to be described? I'll try to speed that up a little bit. All righty. While this is spinning, aha, see things loading now. Here we go. The alt text. Yes, I know it's taking longer than usual. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, I'm actually going to come back to that one. This is the add image link file. Add an image link for the image gymnast.gif. So an image link for the image. So here's the gymnast. And you can see it should go right here below. Image source equals gymnast. If you're if you click the title or the the name of that, you don't have to worry about having to remember to put the quotation marks. Alt equals. Let's see what this thing looks like. Ah, this is the moving file that I was just seeing a minute ago. Okay, so there you see it. Let's see your animation of person doing back. I did not put. There we go. And I think this should go below that. There we go. Perfect. So that was actually one of the ones that, let's see if this other one ever finished loading. Okay, so I got the page to load properly. And okay, got the page to load properly. Here we go. This time it says read the HTML, look at where the images are used, add a descriptive alt image. This is a beautiful picture up from Japan of some lanterns. There's a picture of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Here is Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. The, the Jesus statue that's there. So let's see what, what we need to add. Okay, we'll start with the lanterns. Alt equals white paper lanterns. And Rose shop. Okay. So that's just my thoughts of what that is. Okay. The next one is a picture from Paris, France. Alt equals photo of Paris, including the Eiffel Tower from a distance. All righty, in Brazil, one of their most famous statues there. 
in Rio de Janeiro. Alt P close. Silhouette. I do not think I spelled that correctly. Statue prop. This is overlooking Rio de Janeiro. against a maybe an evening sky perhaps or pale orange okay that's kind of a long a long alternate description but it works. Finish. So I did this one. I already did the add image link for the guy who's doing the backflip. And then the last one is add an image to a recipe. Let's see if this one pulled up. Here we go. We've got a cake. Here is the recipe. And don't add an image to the end. Don't forget to use the add image button. So this time they're not giving us an image. We have to find it. And so I'm going to come over here to my search. And this time I'm going to look for a picture of a cake. Since that is what this web page is about. It's about a cake. Hmm. Let's see if the search is count. Ooh, so many good cakes. Now I'm hungry. Thank you very much, code.org. Some cute cakes here. I think I'll just go with this one. It's pretty simple. Basic cake. Doesn't look too fancy. Looks like it's a homemade cake. So, it's got the license here. Tells us all about it should be loading. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and copy this plain text. And I'm going to go back over here to the web page. And I'm going to add maybe H6 for this. That'll keep it nice and small. All right, internet, what in the world are you doing? All right. There we go. Now, so this is down here. It's waiting. All it needs now is the image. Now, before I can put the image in here, I need to add it first. We've got to actually get it in there. So I'm going to save the image of cake. Not with all of that. And I'm going to save it to my desktop for now. And I'm going to click Add Image, Upload File. And I'm going there in alphabetical order, so I'll find cake and click open. <laughs> Takes it a minute, depending on how big the file size is. This one's pretty large. And we should see it pop in here. There it is. So now we can tell it, hey, HTML, we want to put in a picture of cake.
Ah, I'm sitting there going, why is it pink? I just remembered. I need to say source. Yeah. All right, so source is cake. That's where you're going to get that picture from. And we're going to give it some alternate text. And I'm going to just call it homemade cake with white icing. All right. And what, why is all this pink? Because I did not put that there yet. And that fixed all of that. So now we have a big picture of a cake down there along with the proper attribution so that we are following the license. All right, I'm going to click finish. That should be everything in bubble six. And we will take a brief look at bubble seven, which will be your assessment level. And so for this one, I'm not going to work it out for you, but just to kind of explain what it is they're asking you to do. Um, we can use images to make a web page more personal. Add an image to the page. So it's going to be a page about you, so a cool picture. It could even be a picture of you if you would like for it to do be that. Nobody's going to see this web page. We're not going to publish it. Um, unless you know unless you want to this is just just a picture could be about something that you like if you've forgotten how you know there's a lot in this adding about adding images and making it to be named properly um, the rules about copyright if you get it from the internet it needs to, you need to state the rules, um, you know, where you got it from, all the attribution to the original creator. And I do recommend that Creative Commons search or Wikimedia, which gives you the same information. And then using just good coding. When I go to grade it, here is what I'm looking for. So, the image should display properly on the preview and an alternative attribute gives a reasonable test description of the image. No unnecessary code is included in the image tag. There is an accurate attribution, which means giving credit to the creator and the image is named properly. That is what you have to do for extensive evidence. For convincing evidence, it's got to still display properly and it needs to be used according to its copyright license. And, you know, some of those didn't necessarily require attribution, but if it, it doesn't say, um, if it doesn't have attribution, even if it doesn't, isn't required, I am not going to give you anything above convincing evidence because I want to know where you got the image from. All right, limited evidence is where you are trying to use the image tag and the source address for the image is provided. In other words, there is an image here and you've used the image tag, but there's some kind of syntax error or misspellings that prevent the image from being displayed properly. Another thing that could, you could do everything beautifully but you may have found your image just by doing a Google search and it may not be legal. If that is the case, you cannot get anything higher than limited evidence. So be really careful and mindful that you are getting a legal image. And then no evidence would mean you're not using an image tag at all. There's nothing down here that says image and there is no source address given for the image. So. Maybe you've uploaded an image into your files, but you're not actually giving it, you're not referencing it, okay? So aim for extensive evidence, use the alternate attribute to describe the image and make sure it does display properly. 
if you finish early and you have classmates that are still working, you can help them. As long as they're not working on that last level, help them with the other previous ones, um, not bubble seven. Bubble eight is challenges, learning how to customize the height and width of images, which we can see, we saw that with some of the images I uploaded, that those really big images were a problem. So that is a really important one, I think, to do, even if you don't necessarily do anything else. Uh, creating an illustrated story and making a how-to guide to help people learn how to do something. So pictures really help to explain how to do something. So any of these things that you do are extra, they're above and beyond, but I really would love if you have time for you to go ahead and take a pe peek at bubble A there. All right, on that note, that's all I'm gonna work out for you. I want you to make sure that you complete bubble seven and I hope that you're successful with it. Be sure you reach out to me for help if you need it. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening.